All right, thanks everyone for joining us today. We'll get started this morning with Coach Blashill. Please let us know if you'd like to ask a question. We'll start with Daniela Bruce. Hey, Coach, uh, team day off yesterday. Just what can that do both mentally and physically for your players at this point? Well, you hope it refreshes them. You hope they, they come with uh, lots of energy. Um, you know, sometimes um, fatigue shows up in, in your in your physical play in, in terms of, you know, how your legs feel. Uh, and sometimes it shows up mentally. Now, the reality is we have to find ways to be better uh, when we are potentially fatigued. Um, we've got to find ways to make sure that, that um, we don't make uh, mental mistakes in those in those types of situations. But, you know, obviously with the day off yesterday, you know, the schedule got screwed up. We we're supposed to have a day off Sunday. We didn't get it. Monday ended up being a bit of a travel day, just traveling to San Jose. So, you know, we, we decided to go with the day off uh, yesterday, and hopefully that, that uh, allows us to be refreshed. And then this morning, some extra work on the special teams front. Obviously, the power play struggled mm -hmm. a bit. What things can you work on when you don't have that much practice time to hopefully make that better? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, the, the difficult part um, it, when you don't practice is, is you have potential to lose your structure. Um, you have potential to lose some of your habits. Uh, you don't, you're not able to kind of touch on as many bases as you'd like to. And that's the challenge in this league coaching period. Um, you know, we, we've kind of had a routine at home, uh, how we, how we work on power play. It's more five on O stuff before the pregame skate. You know, the one other challenge we have is, is when we do work on specialty teams, our penalty kill is different uh, than, than, uh, than a lot of the penalty kills we face. And so sometimes five on four isn't as productive as it would be if it mirrored uh, what we're going to see that night. So, you know, we've, we've tried to go sometimes with that five on O route. Uh, you know, I had a coach say to me once, if you move the puck, great. It doesn't matter what the, where, you know, the, whether the players are on the ice or not. And there's probably some truth to that. And hopefully get your routing down. We did a little bit of routing in neutral zone four check too, just to make sure our habits are good and that we can try to play without thinking. And lastly, just thoughts on Buffalo. They could get a few players back tonight coming off a win in Nashville. Yeah, they played good. You know, I watched the beginning. Uh, I watched the, the game against Nashville. And certainly, the beginning, they they were the better team in the first, and and uh, I thought they did a good job. Aaron Dell played well. Um, you know, if they get uh, you know some some guys back, those are important pieces to them. So they'll be good players back in the lineup for sure. Um, both games we've played against them have been really close, obviously. So you know, we got to come out and, and find a way to play our best hockey. Really, for us, it's about, about us right now, especially, and we got to make sure we come out and find a way to play our best hockey. Thank you. Thanks, go to Trevor Thompson. Well, I just talked about this a bit before, but um, ever since the layoff and Christmas, it seems like you haven't had the same rhythm and confidence uh, game in and game out as you had before that and wondering what it's going to take to get back to that and what you're seeing in that area. Uh, you know, all, all, all you do to get, you know, rhythm and confidence come from from playing really good hockey. And, and so, you, you, you know, confidence ultimately certainly comes from the results of winning, but also from knowing that you put yourself in that position. Like when you lose some games and you know you dominate the game, it doesn't shake you. When you lose games and you feel like you got to play, it can shake you a little bit. So we got to get into it, uh, into games here and make sure for 60 minutes we're doing everything as right as we can. Um, you know, again, I thought we had a number of uh, mental mistakes in the last game against Winnipeg that, that uh, didn't hurt us as much as it could have. You know, we gave up a number of two-on-ones, as many as I'd like to give up in a, in a season we gave up in one game. Um, and, and we got fortunate on a number of them. One of them, uh, the shorthand of one uh, kind of semi two-on-one, semi breakaway uh, was a big goal in the game. So we got to make sure we're not making those mental mistakes. We're not giving easy chances away. You know, to be a hard team to play against, you can't give easy chances away. And certainly against a team that, that can create the rush chances that Buffalo can, uh, we got to make sure we do a good job of that. And what are you seeing in that area? They've got a lot of young players in their lineup. And you just talked about uh, the rush chances and the energy they play with. What kind of challenges do they present from that standpoint? Um, you know, they, they, I, I know Donnie Granado fairly well, and he's a, first of all, a really good coach, really good person. And, and you know, one of the things that, that uh, his teams have always been good at is their transition offense. And, uh, you know, they probably uh, – to do a little more puck control type transition than, than a lot of teams and they can create some advantageous situations with speed. Um, so you got to make sure that you're doing your best to take time and space away. And, and if you do, if you do that, you're forcing them into mistakes. And if they have lots of time, uh, I think they can create lots of offense. So, you know, we'll see where that battle goes. Thanks, Flash. Yeah. Carol Johnson. Uh, when we look at the stats from last game, wasn't that you guys weren't taking shots on that? At because mm -hmm. they weren't lacking. Of course, when we look at the score sheet, there are no points on the board. Mm -hmm. So what do you change to make sure 
some of those pucks start going in the net? Well, I think, you know, one, we didn't quite have as many, you know, real scoring chances. I, I tend to look at scoring chances more than I do the shots. And, and, you know, I think we had 12 for the game. I think they had 17. You'd like it to be, first off, closer to even. Secondly, you like it to be in that 15 and up range in order to really feel like you're going to produce the types of uh, the amount of goals that you want. So we got to increase the number of scoring chances. I think, you know, one way to score on a consistent basis, and, and, and we've talked about this, and it's easier said than done, is making sure you're really hard at the opposing net, making sure that you have net threat presence, making sure that you're potentially scoring dirty. I thought uh, Connor Hollybuck looked like a guy who's one of the best goalies in the league last game, um, but I also thought that we could have made the game harder on him. So, you know, those two combinations uh, have to happen. You got to make sure you make, make it hard on the other goalie. And if you do that, I think it's harder for them to be at their top level. So, um, you know, that'll be a focus here for tonight, making sure we're hard at their cage. Now, when you look at the defensive structure of the team, was it too loose in that game? Was there not enough pressure on the Jets? Mm -hmm. I would say um, it was too loose. You know, where we gave up the majority of the chances last game was off the rush. They're a really good rush team. Uh, but I thought I thought we didn't do a – we tried to pressure, to be honest with you. And, and when we pressured, we didn't have enough what I would call backup. You know, like if the D were involved on, on the wall, you got to make sure you have great F3 and, uh, and the other players aren't getting beat up the ice. And I thought we got beat up the ice – too, too many times. And I also thought over our, over our defensive blue line, we didn't sort it out good enough, you know, so those are two areas where, where we need to be better. Um, wasn't from, I don't think a lack of, of trying to pressure or pressure it was more uh, when you do pressure, you better make sure that you're reloading and, and, and guys are backing each other up. That's one. What was the message uh, to the team after getting shut out? Um, you know, I don't talk to the team generally after losses, so I, we didn't talk much. We, we had a meeting this morning, obviously couldn't meet yesterday because it was a day off. So we had a meeting this morning and, and um, you know, a lot of those things that I talked about in terms of attention to detail where we have to be way better, uh, we're, we're shown and discussed. All right, those are all the questions we have for Coach Marshall this morning. Thanks everyone for joining us. Um,